Zodiac Gang, y'all know what time it is. Back for another unboxing. Today, we got the Iceman by Iron Studios 110th, part of the X-Men Diorama BDS Art Scale. What's good, man? Let's go ahead and unbox and reveal this bad boy. I'm feeling lucky. You know like Luciana. Money, power, and respect. I'm a down soprano. Lucky, lucky. I'm feeling lucky, nigga. Lucky, lucky. lucky. All right, now before we get started, as you guys know, I always turn to my um, Marvel Encyclopedia New Edition with an introduction by none other than Stan Lee. So Iceman, uh, real name is Robert Drake. Um, the Xavier Institute for Higher Learning is where he's at. His very first appearance was the Uncanny X-Men number one, September 1963. Uh, Iceman can manipulate temperatures around him to freeze the water vapor in the air, forming a variety of ice icy weapons, uh, protective ice shields, and ice slides. Bobby's powers have progressed from simply generating ice to turning his entire form into living, sentient ice. So I just wanted to read that from you guys. Um, yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty cool. So before I unbox it, uh, here is the, the box here, as you guys can see. Pretty much just uh, gives the... Uh, how the, how the actual statue itself looks. So I'll go ahead and uh, take it out the box and uh, we'll pretty much start this unboxing. While you guys are waiting for me to get it out the box, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below if this is a piece you actually have picked up, or if it's a piece you're thinking of picking up. Um, and then also I wanna know what other um, Iron Man 1 cent scale figures have you guys picked up from this, uh, from this line? <laughs> I myself, I will be getting every last one that they come out with. Literally, every last one that they come out with. Um, I feel like this line is very cool, and it kind of makes you wonder, like, like who over there at the team thought to do this? Because it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, I do have Iron Studios uh, one tenth Avenger diorama. Not all of them. I only have ten of them, but that's because of the, the setup that I have. Uh, specifically for the Avengers, that's how it fits. Uh, so before we uh, take it out the box, this is essentially how it looks. So I think it's only going to be one piece. Um, let me go ahead and get, get the turntable right here, and then uh, we'll be able to put them on the turntable and uh, actually see how this bad boy is looking. So let's go ahead and see here. Oh, I was wrong. He actually comes in two pieces. All right. I'm assuming this is the base just by how it feels. It, and there's something about that statue smell. Like, I can't even describe it, but there's something about that statue smell. All right. So, as you guys can see here, it's a, it's a, I think his whole body is pretty much going to be translucent resin, just from how this looks. Translucent resin. Um, actually looks a lot better in person than on pictures. As you guys can see, Marvel Comics, Iceman, Iron Studios, BDS Art Scale 110, Marvel 2021. So, um, this is how it lives so far. Um, the peg, if anyone's wondering, goes right here up top. So if anybody's wondering, the peg goes right here up top. Let's go ahead and see the body and find out what the body looks like. And another thing is, I do suggest when unwrapping these, be very, very careful because, man, you don't want to get too excited and break something off because that's what I actually ended up doing with Rogue, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, yeah, you don't want to break anything. Oh, man, this is nice. I'm actually, like, very, very impressed. This is crazy. Um, he has, like, an ice, like ice kind of blast coming out of his hand. Um... He's, he's actually not naked. It may look like it, but he's not naked. Uh, so I think it is translucent resin throughout his whole body is what it kind of looks like. More so on the base, but let's go ahead and put him, put him in right here and just kind of see. He has a peg on, his, on the back of his right foot. It snaps right in. Um, looks amazing. It looks amazing. Has a piece of uh, paper right there to protect, protect that. So... I'm actually impressed with it. I didn't think I was because I'm like, ah, oh, he's going to be all ice. Like, I kind of wanted him to be like half human, half ice. I thought that would have looked it better, but it looks very, very good. So go ahead and take a look right here, guys. Um, 
try to hold it a little bit closer to the camera, but this looks very, very good in my opinion. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and rate it um, from the, I can't, can't even say paint. I mean, the only paint is on the base. Um, so from looking at the base, I'm gonna give it, the base matches all the other ones, you know, with the uh, Xavier School. Um, I think they did a good job. I think they did the best job that you could possibly do on an Iceman type statue, honestly. It looks very good in my opinion. Um, I'm impressed. Uh, you can still see the X-Men belt. You can still see the six pack abs. You can still see the biceps, the ice power that he's about to, um, you know, display at someone else. Uh, so for me, I, I think it's perfect. I'm honestly going to give it a five out of five. Um, I feel like I don't feel like there's anything else they could have done to enhance it. I know it's Iceman with his belt. I know it's, I know he's a he's an X-Man. Um, I like how he's how he has the ice that he's kind of like forming up and he's about to you know shoot it out. I'm I'm actually impressed. I'm I'm very impressed more so than what I thought it was going to be. I'm I'm very excited to bring this to the collection. Um, this is actually my eighth X-Men one ten scale that I actually have had the chance of owning. I only have four because I did sell Cyclops, Wolverine, Rogue, and Beast, which I have to rebuy. I didn't think I was going to keep them. Prematurely sold them. And yeah, now I'm basically rebuying them. So um, if anyone is selling those, please let me know. Uh, overall, uh, the statue looks very, very good. I'm very impressed. Like I said, I give it a five out of five. Um, everything looks amazing to, based off of what I want. You can see the muscle definition. You can see the, the X-Men belt, the display of powers. You, you know what's going on. The base is good. The translucent resin is good. Everything is good about it. I highly recommend. I give it a five out of five. Let me know in the comment section down below if this is something you guys are picking up for the price point of $175, if I'm not mistaken. So $175, I don't think it's bad. Um, the 110 scale of the line definitely is going up in price. <laughs> These things used to be like $89, and it's crazy because some of them you even see for like $250 now. It's, it's crazy, but hey, what can you do? So remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that. It's your boy Cash, the Gemini Zodiac Gang. We out. X-Men Unite.